the first thing I want to talk about that Mo would discuss with me on the range when we practice together is the address position. And the way Mo said it to me was, if you ain't got a good address position, you ain't got nothing. So let's go talk about the address position that Mo discussed with me and what made his swing so simple. So Mo says to me, if you haven't got a good address position, you ain't got nothing, right? So what that told me, and, and by the way, when I spent time with Mo and my, my mission, not only was to become a better ball striker, maybe like you, but I, th I saw such simplicity in it that I wanted to make this swing simple. I wanted to be able to have something that was easy to maintain. And when Mo said to me, if you haven't got a good address position, you haven't got anything, I started really studying the simplicity of his address and what the difference between is what he was doing and what made his ability to strike the golf ball more consistent. And, and that ability being the fact that he, if you look at his golf swing, and you're, and you're known as the best ball straight that's ever lived, it's because you're getting the impact in a more consistent way. So the address must have some relationship to impact. And that was the kind of the, the, the motto here, was that, is that I'm not taking anything he does for granted. So when you look at his address, you gotta look at two important factors. And I've learned more over time with this. The first obviously is I see two straight lines, right? You see, you see a straight line of the club shaft in the arm from this angle. And then you see a straight line of the club in the arm from that angle. So you see these nice alignments of the club. And by the way, when he put the club behind the ball here, it was square. So you can say, oh, he puts the club behind the ball. And I says, but no, there's a lot, there's more to this. If you look at it from a biomechanical efficiency standpoint, in other words, that, that, that meaning, how is my address helping me get to impact? You have to look at the tilt and you look at the tilt of his body. And so you, now you see this tilt. And so that's very important to these alignments. So if you look at how, and notice I haven't even mentioned the hands yet. So people start with grip and I think it's a big mistake. They start putting their hands on the club. That's a big mistake because you've taken the most important to, uh, ball striking face angle is the most important factor to that ball flying straight. And now you're grabbing that face angle without having any relation to body. That's a big mistake. And this is why Mo was saying, if you haven't got a good address, you haven't got anything. He wasn't talking about the grip. He didn't say, he didn't say if you don't have a good grip, you don't have anything. He said, if you don't have a good address, you have anything. You see the, you see the, the nuance there in his, his explanation. And so the grip, I thought, well, if he's talking about address before grip, then you got to set the body before you set the hands. So if you look at my body position now, I'm tilting it. Forget the club for a second. I'm tilting it so I can get to impact because impact is with a tilt, right? Okay, that makes some sense. That's why the club's behind the ball as well. Now, when I have the tilt, look at my shoulders. See how they look, they appear to be closed. This is what you would say, Todd, your shoulders are closed, but they're not. My torso is actually open. My upper body's open as my shoulder, upper arms are closed because I'm in the single plane. And this is where you start seeing major differences with Mo. He's putting the club and the body position in the impact position. The only difference is a rotation. See that? He's putting it, this is his address, and he's putting it at the impact position. All there is difference is a rotation. See that? So all he had to do is take it back and be in the proper rotation. This is where you started seeing it, but it started at address. So this is the single plane address, straight line here, straight line there, proper body tilt. And then we talk about the hands because now the hands are in, in an orientation. Mo used that term a lot, proper orientation. My hands are now in an orientation relative to my impact and my tilt. So this hand is square after tilt. This hand is in a non-rotational straight line, non-rotational motion. So again, my hands put, get put into the most biomechanical efficient way to square the club at impact. I know I don't do a great job explaining this really well, but I'm doing my best to interpret for you the things you see as idiosyncratic in most swing are, are pure biomechanical efficiencies. So starting with the, the tilt, then the shoulder and arm position, then the hand orientation, that stuff allowed Mo to when he swung, and this is a six iron here, look at where I'm starting the club, so I, but it's because of my tilt, my hands are already leading. I'm already in my impact position to start with. 
and then all I have to do is add speed, and I just I go from here to here to here. This is the amazing thing about when you actually start looking at most swing in the right way. You look at it not from an idiosyncratic standpoint, but from a what's the easiest way to strike that ball on the ground with a stick. That's what you start seeing in Mo. And so I hope that kind of inspires you to take a look at Mo swing and give it a shot. If you're enjoying this content, hit the bell icon, give me a thumbs up. Also, I got to tell you this. If you're really interested in learning this, I've put together a program that has become incredibly popular. Probably the most popular program I've ever developed as an instructor in the last 20 years is called Single Plane 30. Single Plane 30 is designed to teach you this exact swing in a perfect format and way. It's based, again, I do everything based in science. I've learned how the, the mind works and I've learned how that body and mind connection works. And I built a program that teaches you how to do this. It is not a quick fix program. If you want to systematically and progressively learn the single plane swing in the exact proper order, the way your brain is designed to learn, I deliver it to you in a daily module. I tell you what to do every single day. And after I tell you what to do, you go do repetitions on this motion that day. And the next day, I give you another module to do another training. And I'm progressing you through this. Plus, I'm also coaching it. Throughout the month, I hop on a Zoom call and I coach you in the program and we discuss what's going on. I take 200 people per month in this program and it fills up every single month. Right now, we're almost, almost three quarters full. We have over 150 people in the program today. And the next 30 days, I progress you into a perfect single plane swing. I love teaching this program every month. Everybody's on the same page. We're training in the same order. We have some questions. We all get the questions answered. I coach you through the program and it's progressive training. So listen, if you wanna join Single Plane 30, I'll put a link in the description here to join the, the next month's program. And I hope to see you in there because it's a perfect way to learn what I'm teaching you.